Yep. We're back once again, guys. And I'd like to say thank you all for allowing me to get as far as I did on this channel. Really wasn't expecting it. Today's video is going to be a little different. We're going to be dodging into a little bit of a lowered slammed Mustangs. You know, the 05 to 09 models. And maybe you guys can pick up one in the comments and tell me what one you like. It can't be that hard, right? Now, I know some of you guys do follow me. And I know some of you guys follow as in just watch but don't subscribe me. Which is, uh, sounded wrong. But, yeah, I'd like to, you know, that button you click. I think it's down there somewhere. But you should click it. All right? Yeah, yeah, click it. I'm with my daughter right now. I know she's grown since the videos. <laughs> so, let's dip into it, shall we? Later. First up, we got Brandon, 6'6 six, six Polar. If you guys do not follow him, I recommend you do. He makes some cool last stuff too for those three valves. Let's take a second though and appreciate the simple yet very clean build. I know the video quality isn't the greatest because you know you know how Instagram and Facebook works. But let's just, you know. <laughs> so that customer in, we'll get to that in a second. Some photos for you. Like I said, it's, it's very, very clean. He is on bags. It's nothing like over the top or overly done. I love it. Here's that back again we're talking about, the custom spoiler he makes and the custom diffuser he makes. You can contact him about those if you guys are looking to get some for yourself. Uh, the diffusers, they do change a little bit from small to big. So go to his um, Instagram, you can check those out. Look at the custom taillights. I know you haven't seen nothing like that before. Those are basically a one-off. Um, those, I believe, are not for sale. Those are just something he did for fun. But the spoiler and that diffuser, definitely check that out. Ah, yes. Such a clean build. The LEDs and everything all wrapped around makes this thing just mint. It's, it's really good. On to the next one. And up next, we got Minty Fresh Dot 3 Valve on Instagram. Another fine example of a clean build, not overly done. I love the wheels. I believe that's a recent purchase. The color stands out and sticks out, not like crazy, but just enough to show you the flexing of goodness. <laughs> These photos are pretty legit, man. Very clean. Love the scenery, too. I'm just enjoying the pictures. Don't mind if I don't talk too much. Maybe you guys would rather me not talk. But very good job overall. Badass car. On to the next one. We got S197 Venom. I mean, really, the guy needs no introduction the car let alone standalone however you want to put it is mean as hell one of the best three valves out there i, I was gonna about, about to say market but this isn't really a market but in the community of these three valves this one really stands out the most a lot of people look up to them big time inspiration badass car i mean so much detail and work has been put into this car it's insane the wheel combo with it the wide body it's just nasty all around. I need to stop talking and let you guys enjoy it. These photos are pretty sick though. I do have to say that. It's a pretty nasty build. I believe it is also supercharged. I mean, the whole combo is menacing. A lot of work has gone into this car. You gotta keep in mind, to do that wide body and to find the wheels to go with that wide body, you know, from being wide, it's not something you can just, you know, snap your fingers and have done. There's a trunk, the trunk looks OP. But yeah, doing the wide body on these cars and doing the, you know, finding a wheel setup to match up like that, you know, it's just, it's not cheap. So give the man props. A lot has gone to this car besides the wide body alone. Stay tuned to this build, there's something crazy coming. And on to the 
next one here we got S197. Oops, sorry, you said the backwards. Sky, the S197. This all blue, sick. The fender wide, you know, being the wide, you know, with the fenders, they're kind of like what True Fiber felt or sells. Sick. The way he did this car looks really good. Believe it or not, it is a V6, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with a V6, especially if it's done up like this. Like, I mean, this is this is sick. I get it, V6, sick. <laughs> anyway, the wheel combo too, as well with the white or white letters and stuff on there. That's awesome. The hood, everything combined, matching in with this build, is awesome. Let's sit back and enjoy this a little bit. These videos are sick. Oh, what a shot. Now, if you guys do follow his Instagram, um, be sure to check it out. His TikTok's also pretty good. He's got a lot of good content. The way he does things will make you laugh um, in a good way. Um, I think he has a go-kart as well, I believe I can call it that, that matches the car. Um, it's sick all around in general. Everything he does, pretty inspirational guy. Please go follow him. Check him out. Am Bam Romero. Hopefully, I said that right. S197. These wheels, don't get me wrong, I actually like them a lot on this car. They look nice. Very, very nice. How it's lowered like this, the fitment right there, beautiful. The taillights as well, the vectors. Those are the B1 vectors, the first vector we came out with. But yeah, this, this stance right here is. Man, it's, it's perfect for me. It's good. And I'm not really a slam guy. I'm not in this video because, I mean, yes, I am lowered, but I'm not like slam like these guys are. Actually, down low, low. Hell yeah. Definitely follow this guy as well. Very nice. On to the next one. Who's next? That red V6. As the guy's name says, this is another V6, but like I said, don't get it twisted. It looks good. Very simple, clean, wheels clean, everything just fits, you know what I mean? It's perfect. Not overly done. I like that roller. That's a sick roller. Very nice. Gen 5 tails, Roush spoiler. Like I said, it's just, it still looks very clean, yet simple. Not overly done. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say something about the dog. <laughs> These photos right here are really clean, especially this next one, the roller. Yeah. If only I could find a photo man like that, I bet you I could, but that is sick. Some scrapage going on there. That's just, you know, that's just him flexing. Yeah, this is dope. Hey man, great job on the car. I like it a lot. Who's next? S197 Junior. Ooh, yet another clean one. This, this is a lot of clean Mustangs, man. Like my squeakage. You got a lot of clean, you know, simple, clean builds here. We've got ball size better over here, just kind of killing us all. That comes as that's expected. A little bit of burnouts, we call that, uh, where they shut down basically intersections. <laughs> where I live, we don't really do this. Granted, there's nobody there watching the whole thing, and it's not like shutting down an intersection. It's more of a flex, you know, showing off a little bit. But this car being low, simple, clean, all around, I love the wheels as well. It, it's pretty sick. This is the one with a lot of burnouts. Right? have anything recent or you know to send me for being just slammed out videos he did have a lot of burnout videos and I said screw it send them we got photos of you being low <laughs> Nice videos, although like I said, the quality is not the greatest with these videos being sent in. Damn. 
And here we are. Is that Luna? Believe it or not, this guy has a YouTube channel and some really good content. So be sure to stop over there and check that out and subscribe to him as well. If he does comment down below, look for the Luna. Good shit. He's a good guy. This build is, I've been watching it too, it's really nice. All around badass. And keep in mind, a lot of the work he does do himself as well. I believe he went to a shop though for the bags to be installed. I, I, can't, I can't remember if he didn't have a lot of time to do it. I mean, these are things he can do, but all around dude, nasty car. Love the YouTube channel. Love sitting back watching your content. Oh yeah, I'm just trying to sit back and enjoy it. <laughs> Good job, man. Keep it up. I love the car. Now we're on to the next one. Who is it? Pier S197. I believe this is the first time he's been on this channel as well as some, maybe a couple others. Very clean. Very low. We got the Vector V1s in the back with that. I think that spoiler comes from Brandon Polar, the way we viewed earlier. Got one of the nice wheels with this combo as well. Love that. That's sick. The stance and all in this car, sick. Look at the rubber. Two different wheel combos. Yeah, with that paint and the vectors, they look good. My car back when it was vapor silver looked good. Badass car, man. All right, who we got next? That low 4.0. Looking good. Looking clean. Like the wheel combo, too. Different from others. Is that a wallet? I think I see a wallet. Looking low, looking clean. Just sit back and admiring the car as well. Now she low. I, I now I seen some people with their cars actually probably touching the ground. Is this one on bags or is this one basically static? I can't remember. I view a lot of people, so I, I can't remember everything. I can't tell if that's a GT500 spoiler on the back as well. Looks like it. Where's your side marker, sir? <laughs> Return signals, I should say. The tint too, that the window tint. Hell yeah. It's different, you don't see it every day. Love the build, keep it up guys. The best, all these are badass. All right guys, thanks for stopping on. If you guys have not checked out the channel or actually subscribed, please do so. We're getting close to 2,000 subscribers. We're at the 1,700 mark and I appreciate you guys so much for getting me there. Next one, another detailing kit giveaway, car channel, so it makes sense. Stay tuned, catch you on the next one.